My God. Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm here this morning again with another word to share. And let me ask the question before I even put the word to you. My question to you is, are you anchored? Are you anchored? Believers, a storm is out. A storm is out. A storm is coming. And it's going to test and it's going to prove those who are anchored. Are you anchored? If not, it's a good time to anchor yourself. It's about to get rough. It's about to get windy. And the wind is going to pick up speed in the believer's lives. I don't know if you've started experiencing it. Some unusual happenings. A storm is out. An unusual thing is going to happen. And it's all about testing if you're anchored or not. Hallelujah. Let down your anchor securely in God. The, the children of God must buckle down. It's either God or not. Mighty God. It's either God or not. You have to make a decision. You can't sometime be anchored and sometime be on your own. If you are wondering why you're still drifting, check your anchor. If you're wondering why it is you're still being tossed to and fro, check how firm you have remained in God. Your anchoring has a lot to do with it. There are many of us who are easily shaken. There are many of us who we are so uncertain. Slow down and let down your anchor in God. An anchor is something that's very heavy because it has to hold the ship or the boat securely. You have to let down your weight in God. Let down everything in God. Let it down. And you have to slow down to do this. You can't be sailing however long you please. You can't be sailing however you want to. You have to know when it's time to let down your anchor. God, I've anchored my soul. The Lord is calling on his children to check their anchors. Is it where you said you put it? Have you anchored yourself where you said? It's time to throw down your anchor and draw closer to God. Anchoring is not an overnight thing. To anchor yourself is not an overnight thing. Hallelujah. It's a process. It requires discipline. It requires commitment and it takes time. Even now, I have to still be anchoring myself in God takes time so it's not an overnight thing so if you have not started it's a good time to start and that is why you're still drifting that is why you're still uncertain because you're not anchored yet any shipman will tell you about anchoring a ship hallelujah they'll tell you it takes time it takes effort Methods would include walking out the anchor to half a shackle above the sea bottom. It may require holding the cable on the brake and take the wind lass out of gear. It may require you stopping the vessel 
overground. We're talking about anchoring a ship. It may require you dropping the anchor and controlling the speed of the cable flow by the brake and bringing the anchor cable direction forward and confirm believers hear this part that i love confirm that your anchor holds its position and that's why i'm here this morning for someone to confirm that your anchor holds its position too many are still being tossed to and fro and wondering why god why i thought I was trusting you. And he's saying, check your anchor. It requires work and some effort and commitment and discipline to be anchored. Self-denial. Take up your cross. At the speed at which many are going, it's going to be hard for you to be anchored. The speed at which you're going, it's going to be hard for you to anchor yourself because it requires you to slow down and ensure that you're firmly gripped. This morning, it's a matter of confirming. Are you anchored? Check it. Because a storm is out and it's testing those who are anchored or not. And many will not make it. There are many who are being tossed right now. Mighty God, I bless you for this word. You can't want to do your own thing, yet you say you're anchored in God. That's not how anchoring works. You have to come together. It's not a one-man thing. Ask anybody we anchor ship. It's not a one-man thing. You need help. Hallelujah. You'll be swept away at sea. You'll be shipwrecked. Storm will carry you away. If you're not anchored. Sometimes it takes time to be properly anchored because you can't find anyone. And maybe this is what you've been saying. It has been such a challenge to be anchored. Many of you are saying, God, I want to anchor myself in you. But I can't find anyone to trust. I can't find anyone to relate to. I can't find anyone to trust. And as such, I'm out here not properly anchored. Sometimes you say that, God, there is no one to help me to be anchored. There is no one to show me how to be anchored. So every now and then you think you're anchored, but you realize that no, so I'm still a pull out. <gasps> Mighty God. Every now and then you realize, you know, but I'm still a pull out. This not, this not really grip, no way. Look here, maybe you're not confess it, are you not? But it's okay. I know why the Lord would have sent me with a word like this. Many of us operate like we anchored. We say we're anchored. Make a storm come. You wonder if you're the same person who declared I'm anchored in God. So every now and then you have to check on your anchor. See if it pull out. Sometimes what we do is to point fingers at people saying that they are the reason why I'm not anchored. And I can't find anybody to trust. I can't find anybody to help me. I can't find anybody to show me how to anchor this. I can't get any help. God, I really want to be firmly fixed in you. And we point fingers and we make excuses. Excuses and excuses. God, I, can't, I really want to. Anybody out here, just you want to be settled in God and you, you just really want to hold. And this has been your excuse for a very long time. 
God, I don't know how to be anchored. I don't know how to be properly anchored because I'm not getting help. So sometimes I think I've, I've gripped the solid rock. I'm realizing, no, come like a sun, me inner. This morning, the charge to you is to check your anchor. So you're wondering how it is that you're coming under so much pressure. And not only that, you're shaking easily. Because no grip, no, the moment you're under certain pressure, you're done with God. You wonder if he's still God. God help me to be firmly fixed. You must be anchored. No matter how you feel or where you find yourself out there on the seas of life. You must be anchored no matter how long it takes. You must be anchored. God, I will forever live my life anchoring in you. If it takes me 20 years, that's my aim. Because the moment you stop finding the time to be anchored, you're going to find yourself drifting. You're going to find yourself drifting. Your vessel must be connected to the bed of a body of water to prevent you from drifting in the wind and strong current. You must be connected to Jesus and be anchored in him. It's time you stop being tossed to and fro. It's time for the emotional roller coasters to end. It's time for this emotional roller coaster and back and forth to end. We cannot go on like this, God. Too many excuses as to why you're not anchored yet. Who never help you? Who see you? It's time to be anchored, believers. Mighty God. Hebrews 6 19. We have this hope. As an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain where Jesus, our forerunner, has entered on our behalf. The Lord doesn't always want to use a storm to, sh to help you to realize the worth of your anchor. Can I just say that one more time for someone? The Lord doesn't always want to have to use a storm for you to understand the importance of your anchor. It's time for you to be anchored before the storm. There's an impending storm. It may not come the way you're used to storms. It's coming to test an anchor. He will keep thee in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Isaiah 26, 3. He will be your sure foundation, Isaiah 33, 6. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken, Psalm 62, 5 to 6. Jesus went into a boat with his disciples. And he said to them, let's go over onto the other side. A lot of us, if we ever take Jesus at his words, we will find ourselves being anchored even more every single day. Because the Lord would have already given you the word of affirmative. So he said, and this is just assurance for the believers and for the disciples. He said, let's go over on the other side. That means no matter what happens on the way, Jesus said, we're going over on the other side. So you must get over on the other side. Anyway, a storm arose at sea. The disciples, Jesus was sleeping. So they decided to wake him up because the boat was being filled with water. And they were in grave danger. They awoke Jesus and said, don't you care that we perish? He got up and he rebuked the wind and the raging water. Everything ceased and there was a calm. Hallelujah. Jesus asked them, where is your faith? Luke 8, 22 to 24. This morning, let me ask you, where is your faith? You were the one who said you're anchored in him. Where is your faith? You 
said you have anchored yourself in God. That's what you were boasting about. So where's your faith? You find yourself still being fearful, yet you are anchored. Still shaken, yet you're anchored. Still uncertain. God may I trust your butt. I thought you were anchored. And that is why every now and then we have a check with anchor. Every now and then you have to check if you're secured in this. Mighty God. There are many who say they're secured. But they do not feel secured. There are many who say, believers, barring out none, including myself, and many times we brag and we boast about God and we say, I'm secure in a distance. I have anchored myself in God. And we are the same ones who say it but don't feel it. When the storms come, we are the same ones who are wondering if God is going to allow us to perish. Don't you trust that God is holding you up firmly and securely? You need to check your anchoring. Check your anchoring because many could be sailing out unsecured because you're not too sure if you're anchored. A storm is coming. Let me just say this again. And it's about proving and testing your anchor. Testing those who are anchored. But there are many who will not be found standing. There are many who will not be found anchored. Believers are every day something. Ask uh, seaman, ask shipman. You have to be checking and knowing that, look here, the anchor must drop. No, there comes a time when you know the anchor must drop. If you want to securely get to shore, your anchor must drop. You cannot do sea alone. You cannot just drift so, you cannot just a seal so. By the God, you can't live any how you feel. You need to drop your anchor in God. Mighty God, I'm so happy I delivered this word because this is all the time I have with you. Anchor yourself. Anchor yourself. It takes time, believers. It takes time. I don't know what process you've started in anchoring or ensuring that you're anchored let no one discourage you don't be the one to blame anyone for you not being secured in God or firmly fixed in God God it's because of this and because there's no one to show me or help me the Lord is willing to guide you home do not operate as if you are left to be lost at sea Mighty God. It's time for us to come out of uncertainties and be sure that our anchor holds. Mighty God. God, I don't know what you're up to, but help me, God, to be anchored. I don't know what is impending, but I don't want for you to use a storm for me to really realize I was not anchored. Show me, God, how to be anchored even before a storm. I bless you, God. Bless you, God. I can't keep running to and fro. I can't be so undecisive. Joshua said, as for me and my house, I'll serve the Lord. Know where you're standing. Everything can just come so and just shift yourself. With the anchor there. Because the current will get stronger. And you have to get to the place. So look here. I see what I and I see what the enemy up to but look here. At the anchor me a work pan. Because this have to remain fixed. Every day we have to challenge ourselves that the anchor you have to remain fixed. Every single day I have to tell myself so look here. Come what me. The anchor you have to remain firmly fixed. And you can ride out your I'm supposed to out and see uncertain. He said to his disciples, let's go over on the other side. No matter what happened, I am anchored.
word in him. I'm going to reach over on the other side. I don't know what you're going through, but you have to tell yourself that because you're anchored, you're going to go over on the other side. Yes, God. I'm near you, God. I don't have time to point finger who never helped me or who hinder me or who hinder me we. It's on you to be anchored. The onus is on you. But your morning is coming. The Lord has already given you his word. Coming. It's time for you to be anchored. Jesus. It's time for you to be anchored. You can ride out your soul. Then you will find yourself in perfect peace. Jesus. Because your mind is stayed on him. Mighty God. That's all the time I have with you. Continue listening on Gospel J A F M 91.7, 91.9. We're also online at www.gospelja.com. My name is Abigail Blair. I'm really happy I got a chance to share this word with you are you anchored if not anchor yourself let down your weight in the depth of jesus Thanks to God.